Oh, crows? <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> Look, everybody, I'm a scarecrow. <laughs> Please, Mr. O'Lantern, you're frightening Colleen and the animals. And this is me chapeau, I suppose. <laughs> Billy, don't. <laughs> oh, you cheeky little... Oh, don't hurt him, Mr. O'Lantern. Riken Bass present Festival of Family Classics. The exciting adventures of an elfish Will-o'-the-Wisp, Jack-o'-Lantern. So bring on the whole family! Grandpa! Ah, <laughs> children, just the sight of you makes me feel 50 years younger. <laughs> Tell us the story, please, Grandpa. Story? Now, what story might that be? You know, the story about Jack. Jack O'Lantern. Over there on your windowsill. Well, I guess Jack would never forgive me if I put off telling his story. Over here, children. Oh, <laughs> Let's see now. A long, long time ago, when your great aunt Colleen and I were tots just like you two, our father brought us up from the city to live right here on this very farm. We were very poor, and things didn't go well from the beginning. Ah, oh, there's my father now. Poor man, trying to coax a meager crop from the stingy soil. Do you see him? Yes. Y yes I can see him. And there's my sister, Colleen, with Lulu the cow. We'd have gone without milk if it hadn't have been for Lulu. There I am with Swayback, the old gray mare who did the heavy work around the farm. And that's Billy, our pet goat. He didn't do much of anything but cause trouble. <laughs> We're all finished, Father. I've had it for the day, too. I don't know where all this hard work is getting us. We slave all day putting the fields to rights, then wake up the next morning to find the soil hard as a rock from frost or scorched by brush fire. What crops there are picked to pieces by those mangy crows. But it can't be the crows, Father. They've stayed away ever since Michael made the scarecrow. Then it must be ghosties and goblins, because every farmer in the area has the same problem. Maybe we need a better scarecrow. What we need, Michael, is some kind of miracle. Michael, what are we going to do? I still say if we had a better scarecrow, it would help. Look at that poor thing. How could he ever scare anybody? He doesn't even have a head on his shoulders. But how? I've got it. That pumpkin you brought in from the field the other day, where is it? In the kitchen. Go get it and meet me in the barn. Now, what are those kids up to? Beats me, but it must be something important. Billy, you come away from there. Can't you see the kids are busy? <laughs> All I want is a little taste little taste my hoof. You'd eat anything you can lift. Ah, all I had for lunch was two rusty tin cans. Times are tough all over. Now get out of Colleen's way and be quiet. Ah, they expect you to do a day's work on two crummy tin cans. Ah. There, it's finished. Michael, it's just beautiful. It's supposed to be scary. Oh, well, it's that too. Oh! Who's the blather skyping, chopping holes in me pumpkin and letting in the draft fit to give a body a case of the vapors? Oh, Michael! My, my, fancy that. It talks. The old talking pumpkin trick, eh? 
Is there no one here with the common decency to answer a civil question? Who's been cutting up me pumpkin shell? Oh, don't be afraid, Colleen. Michael? Colleen, what beautiful names you have. Takes me right back to the old song, the very sound of them. I cut the holes in your shell, Mr. Pumpkin. Sure, and I'm a leprechaun, not a pumpkin. A leprechaun? Leprechaun? That I am. I just changed myself into a pumpkin seed to hibernate for the winter. And a fine rest I was having, till you come hacking away at me boudoir with your carving knife. Gosh, Mr... Uh, Mr. Jack. Jack O'Lantern is the name oh. of the Donegal O'Lanterns, I'll have you know. I'm sorry about your pumpkin shell, Mr. O'Lantern. We were just trying to make a head for our scarecrow. A head for your... Now, why on earth would you want to do a thing like that for? To scare away the crows who ruin the farms every night. Crows, is it? <laughs> Crows? <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> Look, everybody, I'm a scarecrow. <laughs> Please, Mr. O'Lantern, you're frightening Colleen and the animals. And this is me chapeau, I suppose. <laughs> Billy, don't. Oh, you cheeky little... Oh, don't hurt him, Mr. O'Lantern. Oh, of course I won't hurt him, lad. Wouldn't hurt to teach a little beggar some respect for his elders, though. But why did you carry on so when I told you about the crow? Tisn't the crows that be freezing the earth and scorching your crops, and tisn't the crows that be eating your corn and rhubarb every night. Then who? Tis the ghosts, the ghouls and goblins, and herself Zelda the witch, along with her jellyfish of a husband, Sir Archibald the warlock. Ghost G goblins Sure, and they want to drive all you farmers away from here so as they can have the land for themselves. What are we going to do? Now, don't you worry your pretty little head, lass. Old Jack will take care of the demons for you. You're talking to a leprechaun, and all us leprechauns have a pot of gold. You have? Right here in me pumpkin shell. And with me pot of gold, I got more magical powers than the whole flock of spookies put together. Gosh. Tell you what we'll do. You two run off and get some sleep while I stand guard in the fields. Then sneak out and meet me at midnight. OK, Mr. Well, Ola. Don't be so formal, lad. Call me Jack. Now, scoot. Anything you say, Jack. Come on, Colleen. <laughs> sure, and there's going to be a fine blue ha ha before this night's over. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. It never happened. It was just a bad dream. Sure, that's what it was. A dream. <laughs> How come all three of us had the same dream? You, you and, and your, your big, big mouth. mouth. Neither Colleen nor I slept a bit that night. We just lay there in our beds, shivering with excitement. And a few minutes before the witching hour, we quietly sneaked out to meet our new friend, Jack o Lantern, and heaven knows what else. Ah, there you are, young ones. And just in time, I might add, the fireworks should start pretty soon now. Fireworks? Oh, yes, Zelda and her bunch like to make a big entrance. I'm surprised you never heard them before. They make enough racket to wake the dead. But wait. Do you hear it? Hear what? The wind, lad, the wind. Don't you hear it beginning to moan, kind of weird-like? That means they're on their way. Zelda and her pack of blackguards will be upon us any minute now. No, no, little ones, there's nothing to be feared of. So long as I got me pot of gold, no harm can come to you. Or jack o lantern will best them at every turn. Just you watch. Look, there they come now. Really, Zelda, darling, must you cackle like that? It's hardly ladylike. How many times do I have to tell you, stupid? Witches aren't supposed to be ladylike. <laughs> oh, dear, every night the same old noise. Can't we spend a nice, quiet evening at home once in a while? You're the one who said we should acquire a nice piece of land for when we reach retirement age. But, I mean, this is so undignified. Here they come. But what are they going to do? Well, they usually start the proceedings off with a rain of hailstones. But I've handled that old trick many a time in the past with me trusty horn of plenty. Is they're in for a treat now. Watch closely. 
Zelda to demons, Zelda to demons. Let's hit them with a barrage of hailstones. We'll have them run it by the hills in no time. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, Zelda, you old baggage. Let's get on with the Dolly Brook. Hailstones away! So you have finally got things going, have you? High time, I'd say. Not a bad try, you ugly heathens. Just ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Hailstorm backfiring on us? I sense foul play afoot. I should say so. Some cads ruined my topper. I smell a rat here. Oh, I do hope so. I'm famished. Oh, Jack, you were wonderful. It's not over with yet. They'll be back. Herself is no pushover. I say, Zelda, darling, this is most unusual. You're right, Archie. I'm going down to have a look. Look, here she comes. That's herself, all right. The old biddy is coming down, breathing fire. <laughs> a brush fire. Quick, form a bucket brigade. Now, now, lad, I told you I had the situation well in hand. You see this little bit of powder? It's called Instant Tropical Storm. All you do is add water and... Oh! Oh, oh. Jack, you're terrific! Of course I am, darling. Ain't I been telling you that all along? Of all the double-dealing dirty tricks, a tropical storm. Something amiss, my love. You bet it is. And I think I know who's behind it. Zelda to demons, dive in formation! Jack, they're frosting the soil. No crop could ever come up through that. Now, when will the two of you ever become believers in old Jack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, young'uns. I forgot it was just mortals. <sighs> <sighs> now, as I was saying, there's nothing these beasties can do that Jack o' Lantern can't undo. All I need to do is place a call to the North Pole, order a dash of the midnight sun. <laughs> and puff! Not only is the frost gone, but the fields have been watered. The midnight sun from the North Pole. Jack, you're the greatest. True, true, true. Let's face it, my dear, there's someone down there with magic more powerful than ours. You bet there is. And I know who. He's pulled that midnight sun bit on me before. Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. Well, that just about wraps things up as far as I'm concerned. Shall we off for home? Not on your broomstick, bird brain. Jack O' Lantern's had the best of us for the last time. Now I've found his Achilles heel. His what? His weak spot. Those two kids down there. He's obviously fond of them. Oh, please, Zelda. Let's don't get children involved in all this business. They always manage to botch things up so. Not this time, they won't. Once we grab those kids, we'll have Jack-o'-lantern in our power. <laughs> Oh, dear, I sometimes wonder if this is the same sweet girl I married 1,600 years ago. The rest of you will follow me. We'll dive on that scarecrow in formation. That's where Jack-o'-lantern is hiding out. And while we keep him busy, Archie will grab the kids. Me? Surely you jest, Zelda. Me capture two children? You know how I loathe the little monsters. Oh, stop whining, you worm, and do as you're told. Demons, attack! <laughs> Just as I feared, here they come again. You two hide yourself behind that haystack whilst I give them what for. <laughs> <laughs> 
Be careful, Jack. What's to be scared about? Nobody can hurt us, not with Jack-o'-lantern on our side. Oh! Help! Oh! Help, Jack! Put me Help! down! Let go of me! Oh, I say, do stop making such a fuss. I'm not enjoying this any more than you are. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you. Don't tangle with Jack o' Lantern unless you're prepared to take a shellacker. <laughs> well, if it ain't Miss Death Valley or 1808. We meet again, Jack o' Lantern, and this time I will be victorious. <laughs> Tell that to your bunch of boobies I just sent back. And... Oh, I know you've got powerful magic in your pot of gold, you scoundrel. But I have the ace in the hole. Both aces, as a matter of fact. Jack, help! One more move, O'Lantern, and I'll turn these brats to stone before you can pull any of your tricks. I'm warning you, Zelda. If any harm comes to either of them youngsters, you shall not escape the wrath of Jack O'Lantern, and that's a fact. I'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm giving the orders. Unless you want two young statues on your hands, you'll come out of that pumpkin shell and leave your pot of gold inside. Leave me pot of gold? You daft woman. You know I'd never leave it out of me sight. Either that or I zap the kids. What's it gonna be? All right. You win, Zelda. <laughs> Sure. Of course, I'm sure. Here, you hold this while me and my demons drive these farmers out of here once and for all. Oh, dear me. <laughs> all right, demons, follow me. <laughs> I don't think she's a very nice lady. I'm not too crazy about the sissy with the pumpkin, either. Uh, they certainly aren't being very nice to the kids. Yeah, and that sure gets my goat. Uh, no offense, Billy. The three of you just stay where you are. Remember, I've got the magic pot of gold, so there's no use trying anything tricky. Ah, the spineless toad. If we could only get me hands on him. There must be something we can do. I certainly hope so. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. <laughs> I'd like to butt that warlock through a wall. <laughs> Kids, I think I just got me an idea. What is it, Jack? Just you watch. Oh, Archie, me lad, would just be so kind as to fetch me lid? There's an awesome draft in this place. I suppose so, but no tricks now. I'm the soul of innocence. Do your stuff, Billy, me boy. <laughs> oh, you thief, Jack-o'-lantern. This is another one of your ghastly tricks. That ought to hold you, old chap. That's really dirty, Pool. I dare say Zelda will raise an awful fuss about this. Would you kindly get a move on, you beastly bovine? I'm doing the best I can. Oh, oh my. This isn't bad at all. Now what, Jack? All I got to do is hop into me pumpkin and trash them spooky blighters to a fairly well. Come on, I gotta see this. That ought to learn you to mess with an old lantern. 
And as for you two vipers... Jack, you did it again. And was there ever any doubt? I told you I'd do it, and I done it. Of course, I had a little help. I'm afraid it was too late, though. Kids, I'm prepared to make a deal with you. Uh, being as how I'm getting on to 6,000 years old, it's time I was thinking of me retirement. Now, in return for a nice, warm, peaceful home for me and me pumpkin shell, I could promise you a bumper crop by the time the sun is full up. You could live with us forever. Done. <laughs> And Jack's been with me ever since. Wow. Gosh. <clears throat> now I've got to see if your grandmother needs help in the kitchen. Gee, that's a terrific story. Yeah. I don't believe it, though, do you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. What do you mean, you don't believe it? In my day, we were taught better manners than to go about accusing our elders of fibbing. <laughs> You don't believe it, indeed. Something wrong with kids these days, if you ask me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.